Hello, my name is Will Amos, and I'm the co-manager of the Closed Loop Plastics Research Project. And my name is Aldrin Lupasan, co-manager of Closed Loop Plastics Research Project. Now, we all like to recycle here on this campus. And when we recycle, we take things like our plastic cups and put them into, say, a blue bin. But what actually happens when we put our cups into that blue bin? Well, first, a company like Waste Management comes and takes all the recycling material from that blue bin, puts it in their truck, and sends it to the materials recovery facility in the city of Orange. In this materials recovery facility, it's then sorted and baled. Those bales are then sent to the port of LA where they're placed on ships. Those ships then sail all the way to Taiwan. In Taiwan, they're then made into textiles. The textiles are then placed back on ships, sail all the way back to the port of Los Angeles, where finally a company like Patagonia makes them into jackets. These jackets are then sent to Patagonia's distribution facility in Reno, Nevada, where finally they're sent to the stores that actually sell Patagonia products, such as our UC Irvine bookstore right here on campus. Then a UC Irvine student purchases that jacket, and now we've finally closed the loop. And that only took 19,000 miles and emitted half its weight in carbon dioxide. So a little bit of backstory for Will and I. Will, two years ago, Will and I got into 3D printing. We worked on an art project that involved 40 3D printers running 24 hours a day for about three whole months. So that included thousands of hours of printing under our belts. In that process, we realized that there was a ton of waste that came out of 3D printing. Like 25% of our own prints failed. We thought, why not recycle all of this plastic waste? And so we worked on a system that could process all of this plastic waste and turn it back into a usable form so that we can put them back on our 3D printer to print more stuff. And the system took about two years to make. So during that time, we created this process where we would grind the plastic down, extrude it, it would then go onto a spool. That spool could then be put right back onto a 3D printer here on campus and used once more. So we could take our own 3D printing waste right here on campus and recycle it right here locally. But we didn't just use 3D printing waste. Other waste streams we wanted to identify were coffee lids from our local UC Irvine cafes or even red solo cups since we're on a college campus and we, we grounded that plastic down and turned it into a spool and then printed objects with it. So yeah, that was cool. And this has actually led to an even bigger opportunity where we've been discussing uh, potential partnerships with Waste Management or another company called Waste Connections where we can take the millions of pounds of plastic that their facilities across the United States receive every day and turn that right into plastic that's useful for 3D printing locally. So we can take the waste streams from all around Orange County, all of that waste plastic coming from all of these homes and all these businesses in Orange County, and utilize that to make 3D printing filament right here in our backyards and use that. 70 years ago, Kawasaki Steel in Japan changed how the world uses steel. Instead of using raw materials to make its steel products, it completely shifted and used only the recycled metals found in their country. This not only changed how they use steel, it changed how the world uses steel. Today, 88% of all steel products are recycled steel. And this didn't cause the Armageddon that they thought it would 70 years ago. None of our buildings are falling down. In fact, it's still just as good steel, and engineering has accounted for that. So like the steel, we can take the plastic and use that for new material. So as we know that plastics are made out of petroleum, and as we run out of petroleum, we can divert the plastic waste that we have and turn that into raw form. So we want to take the plastic waste stream and turn them into our supply chains. 